Hello, students. Welcome to Lesson 1, Catechism of the Catholic Church. My name is Mr. Matthew. Let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who is God? God is the supreme being, infinitely perfect, who made everything and keeps them in existence. In him we live and move and have our being. God is love. How many persons are there in God? In God, there are three divine persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are three different persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, but only one God. We call the mystery of three persons and one God the Blessed Trinity. How there are three persons and one God is a mystery. It's something we cannot understand. But we believe it because Jesus told us. We will not understand it until we reach heaven. We call the mystery of three persons in one God the Blessed Trinity. What is man? Man is a creature composed of body and soul and made to the image and likeness of God. This likeness to God is chiefly in the soul. Now notice here, human beings are a union of body and soul. They're two together to become one. Death is the separation of these two, the body and the soul. But as human beings that are alive, we together are united as body and soul. Why did God make you and what is the purpose of your life? God made me to know him, to love him, and to serve him in this world, and to be happy with him forever in the next in heaven. This is the purpose of your life. What must we do to gain the happiness of heaven? To gain the happiness of heaven, we must know, love, and serve God in this world. This animation or illustration here shows us that together through the church, we may make our way to heaven. The church is our ladder to heaven and our mother Mary helps us to get there. From whom do we learn to know, love and serve God? We learn to know, love and serve God from Jesus Christ the Son of God, who teaches us through the Catholic Church. He said, I have come as light into the world, that whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. Jesus is God and man. He is truly God and truly man. He became one of us. And he shows us how to get to heaven. We follow Jesus to get to heaven. We have an animation here that shows us about the redemption. Jesus, in his sacrifice on the cross, destroyed sin that was keeping us from being able to go to heaven, and it opened the gates of heaven for us. Jesus is burning love for all mankind. He offered it for us on the cross. The Father was so pleased with Jesus' sacrifice on the cross that it makes us able to go to heaven where God has prepared a place for us 
to live with him forever. But we must follow Jesus to the cross. It is only through the cross of Jesus that we are able to make our way to heaven.